everyone. My name is Kathy. Welcome to my channel. It's Texas Cajun. I was tagged by Christine Richard to do this behind the scenes YouTuber tag. And Christine is my neighbor down the road. She's uh, She lives about two or three small towns over. Not very far away at all. So we both live in Cajun land. And the first question is, what camera do I use? Well, today I'm using my new iPhone 6 Plus, but I normally use my iPad. But my iPad is busy trying to download a video onto YouTube. And sometimes I have that problem where, um, well, maybe we all do. I'm not sure. Um, it takes a while to download onto YouTube, especially if you uh, have a longer video. I do have this camera, but I haven't been able to fix the settings to where my voice and my lips match. So I haven't, I haven't really used it, but I had wanted to try to vlog with it. I'm working on it. And sometimes my iPad or my iPhone will get too many pictures in storage. And I wanted to show this to you in case this happens to you. It is a wireless flash drive. And it is very easy to use. You charge it first of all. It comes with a little instruction guide. And um, you charge it and then you uh, connect it to your Wi-Fi. You just hold this button down and you'll see the um, the blue and the red come on, or the blue and the amber come on. And then when the blue is blinking, it means that it's connected to the Wi-Fi and you can download. So you can take videos from your phone and put it onto here, or your um, photos, or anything, documents, whatever you have on your iPhone that you wanna keep, and put it onto here. So when, before I went and got my iPhone 6, I put everything on my iPhone 5 on to this um, flash drive, wireless flash drive. It has 16 gigabytes, so it might be something that you're interested in getting. They have them at Walmart, they're $49, and I think it's a very worthwhile investment. The next question is, who films for you? It's just me. My husband will take pictures for me, and um, I have a tripod for my iPad, and um, I'll, I'll insert a picture, uh, like right now. And so that's my, uh, my iPad, I mean my tripod. So that's my tripod for my iPad, and I can take pictures and video from that if I, I so choose. What editing system, number third, the third question, number three, what editing system do you use? I love iMovie. It's so easy. And uh, I know there's, I know there's other programs that you can buy that probably have more transitions and more music and so forth, but I, lo I really like iMovie. It's so simple. Do you use artificial or natural lighting? I use artificial lighting because I sit here at my makeup table to film most of my videos and um, my windows are on that side of the room. I have no windows over here and I have a mirror up here. I'll take a picture of it. I have two lamps that are tall and I have two lamps that are short and then I have my makeup mirror. I have the old fashioned makeup mirror I'll take a picture and put it right here. But my old fashioned makeup mirror um, is what I like the best. I have bought other makeup mirrors and I don't like them as well. The lights burn out and you can't find the new bulbs um, or they don't have enough room for my 15 times little mirror that I use to do my detail work. 
So I really like my old fashioned makeup mirror and that and this is where I film most of my videos. I have filmed in the kitchen before because there's a lot of light, natural light in there. And I will do more in the kitchen in the future. Number five, what's the top item on your filming wish list? It could be equipment or product. I think I need to use what I have, so I, I don't want to go out and purchase a new camera or anything. I've got this camera, I've got an iPad, I've got an iPhone. I even have a, a regular 35 millimeter kind of um, camera that I could be using. So I don't really want to go out and purchase anything else, but what I would really like to work on and learn how to use is the pick monkey pick monkey or something like that I need to fix my channel art I have a blog that I want to get more into and uh, so I need some channel art on my blog as well so um, I'd like to learn how to do that I love learning new things so that's going to be fun once I have some time to learn it uh, number six what is your favorite day of the week to film I, uh, well, what is my favorite day of the week to film? I like to film on a day where I'm not rushed. Uh, for instance, today I came home for lunch to film this. I didn't have time this morning. So um, any time that um, I have time to film and I don't feel rushed, that's when I like to film. It's no special day of the week at all. Do you, number seven, do you plan your videos? If so, how? Well, it, it does take a lot of time to get you, get all your um, products ready and just to get organized and, and then find the time and to set it up with your lights and everything. I always have my next video in my mind, what I want to do next or the, my next two or three in my mind that I want to do next. So, um, I'll, I'll plan on my, tr I'll try to take some pictures because you have to, um, either take pictures of your product or take some videos and it, it might, you might not be able to just sit down and, um, do a video without doing some pictures like for thumbprints and so forth. So it takes a lot of planning and a lot of time. How long, number eight, how long does it take you to film the average video? My average video is about 10 minutes. So if I have to stop and start and do things over because of bloopers and so forth, um, let's say a video takes about 10 minutes to do, well then it might take me about 20 minutes to film it, redoing it, restarting it, or or something like that but not long I, I really like to keep my videos to 10 minutes because then YouTube doesn't have that much of a problem in, in the download process number nine is how many hours do you spend editing the average video if it's like a 10 minute video probably three times that much to, to edit it it might take me 30 minutes to edit uh, and it depends if I have to do the Thumb, thumbnail then um, that might take me a little bit longer to do all that but I love doing that that that's fun and creative so um, that's not a problem at all I really like doing that because editing you also have to edit the music and the audio sometimes number 10 my favorite type of video to film well, that would be my weekly favorites because I'm excited to talk about them. They're really working for me and I want to share that information. But I just recently have done some tags and I really like tags too. And I want to start doing some vlogs. I think that would be fun. People who vlog seem to be having a lot of fun. So uh, I thought I would start doing some of those. Number 11, do people at your school or work know about your channel? Nope. 
uh, only me and my mom. My mom knows. And my husband does know. But he is so social media challenged that he doesn't really understand what I'm doing. <laughs> he just kind of laughs and shrugs his shoulders. He'll take pictures for me and um, he, he kind of knows what I'm doing because I had told him that I wanted to do some travel videos when we travel in the RV and uh, kind of like review the campsites that we stay in. I just, um, when we went to Florida, it was such a whirlwind um, time for us. I was studying to renew my real estate license at that time, even though I don't uh, sell real estate anymore. I keep my license up just in case I want to go back into that career at some point. So I was so busy studying for that and um, taking those tests that I didn't have time to vlog about the campsites that we stayed in. But I would like to start doing those. And my husband's all for that. He thinks that's a good idea. Number 12, what is your process of thinking of a video idea? I jot down ideas as I think of them. Um, I like to just share things that's going on in my life. And of course you get ideas from other YouTubers. So that's kind of like my process. I'll think, oh, this would be interesting to tell someone. And I'll tell my mom and I'll tell my sister. And I think, well, they're interested in it. Maybe other people are interested in it too. So that's kind of how I just, it's the sharing of information. Number 13, do you feel awkward filming around other people, an example, in public? Not if I'm pointing the camera at them. Uh, I haven't vlogged or anything like that where I'm filming myself. So that hasn't come up yet. But yes, I would feel awkward. Uh, definitely. Uh, I just haven't run in, into that yet. Number 14, do you have a YouTube friend that you like to plan videos with? If anyone would like to um, collaborate with me, I would love it. That would be great. Um, I think Christine, who lives close to me, um, we might do a collab. That, uh, that would be fun if she wanted to do a collab with me. That would be fun. But anyone, I, I'd be, you don't have to live close to each other to do a collaboration. So I'm game if anyone wants to call me up, message me. Uh, number 15, what is your subscriber goal by the end of the year? Well, I really already reached my goal uh, per se because I have more subscribers than I ever thought that I would. And I have some wonderful friends here. I feel like when I was young, I didn't have brothers and sisters. My sister wasn't born until I was seven or eight years old. So I lived in the country and I, we were far away from a lot of people. I had a friend, two friends down the street, but I, I don't mean down the street like in town. It's down the road a ways. Uh, I had some friends. But um, for the most part, uh, I, was, I left, led a sort of lonely uh, young childhood life. And I always wanted pen pals, people to talk to. And I feel like I have that now with, with YouTube. Um, I have um, pen pals. And, and they're great. It's instead of writing, we video and we talk and comment and so forth. And then I have my blog too. So it's really cool. I, I love technology that we have this available to us now in the world. It's, it's really cool. Uh, and I feel like the more subscribers that you have, uh, you're going to run into more haters. And, of course, that, that just comes with the territory. I don't have a hater yet. And um, and I'll deal with it when when that time comes. But, um, of course, the, the more subscribers you have, the more you're going to run into that. Number 16, the last one. Who do you tag to do this tag next? Well, I'm going to tag just anyone who wants to. Tell them, uh, Kathy at Texas Cajun. 
tagged me and uh, go out and do it. It's fun. Share information. Maybe uh, something that you say will help something, uh, someone else in, in their uh, YouTube um, process. Because I have learned a lot. That's how I learned to do what I do. Uh, it's just by listening to other people and reading what they have um, written in their comments and some of the videos that they have done telling you how to start a channel, telling you how to film, uh, what to film, and, and so forth. It's just really interesting. Interesting. I want to do a shout out. Uh, O'Carroll, Carol from O'Carroll Show has put together a mature ladies list uh, of ladies who are on here on YouTube and I'm going to put that down that link down below uh, in my description box so please go and check out all these ladies and give them some love it, it does take a long time to put together a video plan it pro um, and process it and put it on YouTube and and, and so forth so give them some love and um, encouragement tell them to keep doing it that it's not uh, it's something that's worthwhile for them to keep doing okay I'm going to go back to work now and I will see y'all in the next video okay love you big bye bye